Wakurugenzi tulisema tutapiga story ya sinema mazee mpaka mkubali. Leo nakumbushwa story ya jamaa fulani pale Nigeria. Alianza na kitu kidogo sana lakini alienda kukua a whole revolutionist. Huyo jamaa alikama kaona vile Premier League imeshika pale Nigeria especially those, the rural sides of Nigeria. Watu walikuwa kila weekend wanakutana pale kuma to small clubs hapa na pale ndio wa watch mpira za za English Premier League EPL it was a thing but jamaa kama kama ka discover easy entertainment za huku zina favor tu wanaume sana sababu ni very hard kuona akina dada na kina mama wamekuja pale ati ku watch mpira unajua kwani akina dada wahitaji entertainment so jamaa ka kwa very eh, creative aka muasasa sababu mpira most of the time inaanza saa 8 eh hey, sorry saa kumi jioni after lunch immediately watu wamemaliza kufanya shughuli zao nini sunday after lunch saturday na sunday after lunch mida ya kuanzia kitu kama saa nane. takuwa tunaweka sinema moja watu wanaona sinema moja ya Nigeria akina mama wanakuja wana watch sinema wana half hours two hours mpaka saa kumi. then akina mama wakitoka wazee sasa waingie waone nini mpira so akapiga test ka test na hapo na like five of them eh ma club time ya bola na wapelekea ma CD kwa ya naambia chezeni hii kwa DVD kwa hizo ma TV tu za club nini wa, wa watu wa kama wa watch unajua mama wakikuja ku watch watch watakula kula tu tuchipoa hapa wakunywe tu soda wa watch movie wasikie poa then saa kumi wazee wakuje mkule pesa yao ya pombe sasa so the first five akaanza hivyo hivyo na hiyo kitu ikakami kaanza kuwa a thing ikaanza kuwa a thing ikaanza kuwa a thing kidogo kidogo five joints zikakuja zikakuwa 10 joints 10 joints zikakuwa 15 zikakuja zikakuwa 20 kidogo kidogo a whole district a whole state wako idhaya hiyo kitu mbaya maze na huyo jamaa ndio ana control maze long story short as we speak o jamaa saa hii ako na vibanda more than 30000 across nigeria ambazo ni to join tu watu kuonaga ball lakini before football every weekend ana show movie watu wanakamwa wa enjoy initially ilikuwa ni mradi ya kubamba madem na wa madhejo hao wako wa story ya ball sana but sasa hiki tu ime end up kuhappen ni hata hawa zae wa ball wanakuja mapema pia kuona movie na wa, na mawaifu wao na watoi then after that wana, wana mpira pamoja wenye wanajisikia wenye wajisikia na story za ball wanarudi home but huyo jamaa peke yake like single handedly ame create to distribution ya movies Nigeria kitu maze imetulemea hapa Kenya mbaya sana lakini sababu sisi ni watu tuko na ingenuity ndani yetu tumepata namna imekuwa ngumu sana ku convince watu watoke kwa manyumba kila weekend waende waone sinema mahali how about sinema tukuletee mahali huko at the comfort of your house That's why maze tuko na hii link yetu ya www.filittv.com ndio tukiwa na mali safi wewe unaida hata kusweat unani tu kuingia pale ufanye mambo yako hapo ni shilingi zako 250 peke yake na unaenjoy sinema safi sinema mufti from the comfort of your own house eh leo tuko na movie mbili peke yake lakini tukiendelea tu na hiyo culture hiyo culture watu wajua game maze kuna vitu safi zinatokaga kwa hiyo website before long bana tutakuwa netflix ya imta eh jo mbona tusukume vitu za nje na tunaweza jifanyia yeah i said it <laughs> yeah that's it to support local maze how's you twende kazi season 4 episode 4 come okay if you seem cool against the building you just know ah, he's got the juice mm. 
Wakurugenzi I hope mko freshi, mko saa pamba imekubali, hii nimeipenda sana ndio kwa maana nimeirudia, msianze kunipiga piga mawe oh, oh no I love it. You will see it. Sana. Hii ndio excuse yangu ya kila kitu wewe mbona ulikuwa unacheka rao ile siku. Ah, ile kubo. Makosa ni yangu. Starudi tena, I promise. <laughs> yes. Um wadau leo nataka twende moja kwa moja baka nchi ya Somalia unajua waga tunapatiwa go hizi ma nini za story sana na nimekuwa nikipata feedback kutoka kwa my Somali brothers and sisters wakiuliza eh hey, na mbona upigangi story za kwetu mtu yangu piga hata story ya somo watu wasikie fiti worry no more guys you know why cuz i got you au sio twende kazi wadau tare ni tare 4 oktoba mwaka wa 1993 tarehe 4 Oktoba Americans wako pale wanakula tu dina yao pole pole wana pressure wana bugda wako sawa lakini wakiangalia kwa TV wanaona scenes ambazo zinawagadhabisha zinawapatia hofu wanaona nini wanaona troops wow American soldiers wakiwa deep in the heartlands of Somalia wanafanywa mbaya in fact kuna clip inapiga round ya around the time ya an american soldier stripped naked being dragged uh, eh, kwa streets za Somalia za Mogadishu wanashangaa sana we nilidhani tulikuwa tumeenda huko kuofa msaada how is it that soldiers wetu wanadhulumiwa hivi maze ni nini ime happen what went wrong wadau kule ni pause toka hapo nataka turudi before kabisa toka hiyo 93 turudi huko 1991 mali kulikuwa na leader pale, pale Somalia anaitwa Bare eh, president Bare ako pale bana ni noma vitu huko zimekataa kazi clans pale Somalia wanasumbuana deadly in fact hata leadership ya Bare hawataki kidogo kidogo Bare amekuwa overthrown Somalia is now in a full blown civil war. Wanapigana interclan suko mbaya sana maze. So the whole of 1991, 1992, 1993 mingori waso wana fear tu wana huko mbaya sana. Sasa kuharibu zaidi adding salt to injury. As Somalia is busy busy fighting each other, maze ndio time jo climate imekata. Like drought in our tandika hiyo Somalia wanafurahia ni ngori hakuna chakula people are dying on the streets sababu ya starvation maze watu wamekonda yani ni noma like watu walikuwa deadly ilikuwa tu mbaya things were bad in Somalia so of course the world is watching hey UN wanapiga hesabu wanaona ai 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 Hey, hapa bana aso wa Somalia wanakipata pata sana bana kuna lazima tutafute namna lazima tufanye vitu so of course UN ina rally ma countries mazeni aje jo hey, pale Somalia jo ni noma kama uko na surplus maze eh hey, leteni bana food pale tu twende tu distribute huko among the people wenye wana respond maze na uh, solutions jo ni Americans Americans wanatuma soldiers wao bana na zile ndege big C130 Hercules one of the biggest aircrafts in the world wanajaza hivi mahindi huko cereals nini unajua dry foods teke teke then wana fly over Somalia wanaachilia chakula huko kwa ground wase huko kwa ground wanachukua wanajisaidia nayo So mpaka Americans wakajua ya ya maze e, tuna sukuma mbogi huko iende isaidi iende isaidie of course UN wako hapo pia wanakuwa kwa frontline deadly kuhakikisha wana collect chakula from all over man wanaenda wana wana set up base yao pale wanapiga distribution ya food pale deadly but kumbukeni as history yote ya chakula inaendelea bado Somalia iko katikati ya civil war ngori sana so katika ngori yote among the warlords ambao walikuwa wanasumbua sana sababu kila clan ilikuwa na warlord wake kulikuwa na warlord mmoja anaitwa Muhammad Farah Aidid Muhammad Farah Aidid alisumbua Somalia you guys turns out in fact ni kitu watu wanakam ku discover later the fact the reason why Muhammad Farah Aidid alikuwa so powerful in Somalia ni sababu alikuwa na external backing from a faction that terrorized the whole world ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa Al Qaeda headed by a madman by the name Osama bin Laden. So Muhammad Farah Aidid ameshagundua kitu moja na haimfurahishi in fact inamkwaza. Amegundua katika hii pilka pilka 
ya ku, watu kusaidiwa na chakula. UN wameenda wameseti food reserves mahali wanagawia watu. Other clans wanakuja bana wanateka hii chakula wanaenda wanaanza ku distribute na kwa hii harakati other clans kukua sorry kuchukua control ya hii chakula ina wamekuwa na kuwa stronger unajua mazemu whoever controls the food has the power na hiyo kitu waibambi eh, i did hata kidogo in fact akaamua kufungua ngori na UN state away akaambia mazee spendi vile mnakacheza nyinyi wase mnakuja kuingilia ingilia ngori zetu nani amewatuma mtoke hapa ama niwafanye mbaya eh UN wakifikiria ni jokes siku moja wakiwa malap zao huko mazee wametuma a contingent of uh, pakistani soldiers wako malap zao huko karibu na mali um, fara id alikuwa na radio station pap wakapigwa ambush mazee UN soldiers wakamadwa huko ilikuwa too bloody it was sad pakistanis wakapoteza soldiers wa fiti sana mazee na hiyo kitu ilikuwa za the whole world Of course ngori zikianza kutokea design kuna watu wanakogara kirere sana wanaitwa US of A hawawezi kaa tu watulie z lazima wakamon wa board lazima wafanye mambo pale so wakaona okay jo tunajaribu kusaidia lakini bana kuna fala fulani pale anaitwa Mohamed Farah I did ameamua tu kuwa mshenzi lazima tu deal na huyu jamaa so US wakatuma troops huko kibao waende waingie Somalia wa infiltrate wajaribu wapige investigation intelligence hapa na pale wafanya nini waokote Muhammad Farah I did wachanga mkena ye aende ajibu mashtaka ya war crimes so US wanatuma vijana vijana wanaingia Somalia mazee eh hey, sasa wana operate pale chini ya maji na intelligence ni nini ni nini ni, ni. until tarehe 3 Oktoba 1993 wanapata information ya kwamba majenerali top generals wa Mohamed Farah Idid wawili wana hold ki meeting na ma soldiers wao more than 20 kwa hoteli fulani na jita i think the olympic hotel in Mogadishu correct me if i'm wrong kama nimedanganyana niandikieni hapo kwa com- comments i think it was the olympic hotel so the, the two generals wako pale wako na watu wao kama 20 intelligence ishafikia us forces eh wale ma generali wa uh, ID wako hii maeneo mkaweza teka watu mnaweza kuwa mume cripple um jamaa so fanyeni chezeni kinyinyi nyi mnajuaga vile mnakacheza so of course US wakaingia hapo mishoni ya rakaraka panga mikakati teke teke the whole um, assault kapango hapo haraka faster na wakadetermine ya kwamba kuingia kufanya mambo ku extract um jamaa au majamaa wote 20 something walikuwa i think 24 people kuingiza kwa gari na mandege na kuwatoa na kuwapeleka maze place safe itawachukua not more than 19 minutes so ni chopa in shuka na makamba ingia huko ndani piga assault wale watu wanaleta ngori shika hawa se wote 24 waingize kwa humvees za military take take mpaka kwa place safe i think it was a stadium or something from your stadium now tunaweza land machopa huko tuchukue hawa watu tuwapeleke us to interrogate ama tu tafute tu place safe tukae chini tuwafinye kidogo watuambie mahali Mohamed Fara I did yuko boys muko sawa tuko sawa katambe kaende sana all right let's roll watu kwa machopa zimekuja chopa nyingi hambi zuko chini ni nyingi like food soldiers wako like wamejipanga proper chopa zika take off teke teke tunaelekea wapi olympic hotel wanakuja wanaweka olympic hotel kwa sites pale wanakuja wanashuka kidogo design fit mahali tuki drop kamba sisi masoja tunaweza shuka chii chini mpaka vizuri twende ground tuingie assault toka na wase, wase ingiza kwa magari teke teke and we are out 19 minutes tops twende kazi chopa zimefika maze wakijaribu kutafuta ka altitude ka fit ka kuland okay siku land kakuangusha zile kamba soldiers wa shuke ii rota zinapiga upepo deadly somalia bana upepo nini vumbi kibao before long sky yote ni white like atmosphere vumbi tupu so before mazem police nini soldier wa kwanza apige hiyo rope mpaka chini kwa hiyo tu thickness ya dust masoja wa skada waka discover wait maze kuna watu kwa hiyo Olympic Hotel hapo chini wako armed to the teeth wanapiga piga malapa hapo maze waka discover eh 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 hapa inaweza kuwa ni ngori oh hata before waambia ne he gadhe hapa inaweza kuwa ni tricky pa, 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 pa. chopa zikaanza kupigwa marisasi ikakuwa oh hatuwezi nini tushafika tushafika 
kick your rope chini drop 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 wacha tupambane na wase hapa down wacha chopa ifanye nini chopa itoke so maze drop ikarushwa chini soldiers ni kushuka tu ni kushuka tu kushuka tu after wameshuka wote black hawk helicopter ika ikapiga kona ika ikaelekea sasa mazeni combat he 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 walikuwa nafikiria hata deal na watu kama 6789910 pekee oho kumbe somalia nusu iko armed kila mtu ametoka na kila kitu ak47 pistols oh rpgs wenye wamekuja na sharpness wako na sharpness na nail cutter like wewe kitu yote kama ni silaha toka nje nayo tunapambana na watu vilivyo americans wameanza kuchukua fire seriously Unakaa hivi unaona tu pink mist kwa ukuta mtu wako amekula ndengu chini ni kurudisha 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 wakapambana believe it or not our americans walisukuma hawase wakapanda mpaka ndani ya olympic hotel wakaenda waka surround hao watu wote generally wote wawili na hao majama eh, the soldiers walikuwa kama 20 of them wote wakawaiwa kujeni tokeni ingieni kwa hizi magari ingieni kwa magari ground troops washafika sasa hiyo wakaingiza majamaa kwa gari teke teke gari zikapigishwa makona hapo haraka haraka ni teke teke mpaka wapi safe zone but as our majamaa wanaenda somalians waka discover the reason why our say wanatutandika hii design ni sababu wako na nini air power uko hivyo juu wanasaidiwa sana so the only way hii vita tutashinda hizo birds lazima zianguke sababu hawa say wana provide air support ama majamaa wanatunyorosha kwa ground of course abdala flani tu akatokea na nini rocket propelled grenade rpg kuna black hawk mazee na provide firepower mahali hapa juu mazee uni inanyorosha wa somali hapa juu akaipima tu vizuri sia piga mazee grenade pale kwa tail rotor ile ile nini ya nyuma pale kwa mkia wake inazunguka hivi the moment umechapa chopa kwa tail rotor umemalizana na hiyo kitu Haiwezi kuwa airborne haiwezi so ilianza tu spiral 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 ground the two generals uh, wa somali na masoldiers wanakimbizwa huko safe zone wanaenda deadly but sasa kuna helicopter ya US imekuwa gun down imeanguka mazee kwa street kuna snipers wawili walikuwa strategically mazee wamejipanga mahali walikuwa pia wana provide uh, support mazee but sasa chopa imeanguka hiyo chopa ilikuwa na crew ndani captain eh, assistant wake na masoja kadhaa ndani kama wanane hivi ama tisa ikakuwa mazee ni noma sana eh, itabidi tuache kudi na wa somali tufanye nini to protect hiyo chopa hapo kwa crash zone so mazee wakaanza kusukuma mazee marisasi huko kwa crash zone wa somali wakikanikawa na jaribu kukaribia hiyo chopa imeanguka sia sia sniper fire sia sniper fire ni kuweka chini kuweka chini wakaona hi kuchapa na hivi mazee kutoka huku mbali aisaidi itabidi jo tukimbie teke teke tuende kwa hiyo crash zone tuende tu to protect hiyo maeneo tukiwa hapo karibu sababu hawa somali wanakuja wengi hapa e, ni noma wata watavaran wale wa sena itakuwa tricky so mazee ma sniper wawili wakashuka teke teke wakaenda mpaka mahali hiyo ndege imeangukia mazee wakajaribu ku provide mazee support vile wangeweza but chief mko snipers wawili mazee kuna masoja so walikuwa hapa kwa hicho hapa lakini juu hiyo impact wameumia wako sawa hata wakijaribu kurudisha fire power maze wa quick juu hiyo in fact hiyo chopa crash ilikuwa noma design captain na co-pilot wali wali dead on the spot so hawa masoja wengine juu wako na injuries lakini bado ah ikakuwa ni noma maze wale wa somali wakakamwa kwa varanio crash site yote wakamada hawa se walikuwa hapo mpaka wale ma sniper walikuwa na provide support maze wakawaiwa jo before long one of the soldiers mazee akachukuliwa walikuwa na mdrag jo kwa streets za Mogadishu bana akiwa ndeve wanapiga tu chances za victory nini 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 ku send tu a message to the americans ya kwamba mazee mkiendelea kucheza na sisi mtaumia tokeni na muende kabisa haya kwa wale walianguka na chopa most wali dead mmoja alishikwa kama prison huyo akapelekwa mahali kwa base fulani akafungiwa huko pale kwa ground kuna kikosi ishaambiwa he chopa imeanguka mahali fulani itabidi mkimbie pale muende mfanye nini muende mcheki kama kuna support mnaweza peana so majamaa wanajaribu kungangana kwa streets maze ni marisasi hapa na pale wanajaribu wakielekea wapi kwa hiyo crash zone ya kwanza maze wanaenda deadly things are thick watu wanakula marisasi left right and center ni kubaya 
So maze wakiwa wamekaribia kitu kama like a kilometer to the crash zone maze. I think information iliwafikia ka wakaambiwa maze ngori jo. Chopa ya pili imekula maze grenade jo. Imeanguka. Itabidi jo mpige U-turn. Wacha nini na hiyo crash zone ya kwanza and then iko ile crash zone ya pili muone kama mnaweza mnaweza jaribu kuokoa. I also at that particular time I think ilikuwa evident kwa hiyo crash zone ya kwanza yenyewe hakuna hakuwezi kuwa na survivor. So rudini huko and then iko hiyo nini so ni wapige U-turn tena waanze ika mambo maze wakielekea. My friend ile vita ilikuwa hiyo maskan ilikuwa hatari. Vita ngori yani waswali kwa wanapigwa marisasi yani uko na mtu wako hapa anajaribu kukuprotect anapigwa risasi ya kidole kidole inabembea tu hivi mazee sasa inakuwa ni wewe sasa ndio mtu wake mtu anapigwa risasi ya mgongo haja dedi ako alive lakini haezi ha, function unamweka kwa mgongo ni twende twende na Americans wanakoga na kitu ya leave no man behind i think hata Kenyans wanakoga naye mazee tuna hakuna mtu tunaacha nyuma Tumeshaona picha vile wasa wanafanyiwa huko mazee wana dragiwa kwa streets wakiwa ndeve hapana. So ni kungangana 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 wakielekea kwa the second crash zone. Eh hey, my friend inafika mahali na kwa mazee ni tricky sana. Lazima waingie kwa makeja fulani wajifiche. Waende mazee watulie kwanza sababu the fire is too much. In fact at some point walikuwa wameingia place mazee wamelala like Uh, a contingent of soldiers from Melala to place flani wakingojea kutulie all of a sudden wanasikia tu grenade imerushwa exactly mali wa Melala in fact imelala just inches away from one of them kwa kichwa like from yani unajua hiki kitu kigo off ni hivyo mumeenda na hiki kitu nakoga na 5 seconds before iende so Awajui tangum siango hii pin na irushe first of all ilichukua masekunde ngapi before he land of course 5 seconds ishaisha ukienda tu kushika hii kitu ina go off so wote waka brace tu mara moja wakasema mwenye anaenda wacha aende mwenye anabaki abaki tutaendelea na vita kitu ikalipuka deadly wakiwa wote pale ndani wako karibu soldiers wa sita, saba, nane hapo siko sure wakaanza kuita na majina one by one nani huko niko nani he huko nani kuna ule mwenye grenade ilikuja ikalantua kwa kichwa yake na wakamuita jina oya gave huko kuna sauti inatoka nani huko kidogo kidogo oh, hey, magave niko area joma hey, hiyo kitu ingetufanya mbaya wadao oyo oh, yo 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 kumbe grenade mazeli anguka na iki explode waga ina explode gi out upwards and outwards So kama imeanguka na mumelala nyio wote hapo chini very high chances utaponea. He chief hizo ndio zilikuwa near death experiences hawa sasa walikuwa wanapitia maze. So amejifungia kwa makeja sasa eh, lazima bana support come. Lakini hii support inakujaja sababu air eh, support ikikam inakungutwa tu as we speak two black hawks zimeangushwa ziko chini. Wasoma mededi hapo mwanze kwa hizi makrash ni nini Americans wanapigwa marisasi proper hawa Somali wanakuja wakiwa wingi deadly. So maze moja alikuwa na radio akaanza kupiga tu maredio maze ni aje wadao jo tumekuwa pinned place flani maze tuko mbaya man. Hapa hivi jo tunahitaji external help maze tunahitaji wasoma kama watu extract jo mnaona aje mnaweza come through. Of course maze kuna ma UN soldiers walikuwa kazi wakasema sawa acha tujipange tu tukam. So mazee ma soldiers wakiwa pale kwa nyumba wametulia mazee wanasikia hizo ma tanks za UN zikikam kaka 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 wana kam lakini mazee fire power inapigwa huko ni noma deadly wanasikia hizo tanks zikipiga kona zinarudi ah wakajiuliza mazee hapa tunaenda kukufia hii country walai na sisi tulikuwa tumekaa hapa kujaribu kusaidia hawa so wanataka kututuma mazee most of them wako na injuries walikula marisasi wakiwa on their way to this shack nini nini wasa wako mbaya like ni normal design ile mwangaza inatoka nje ina reflect kwa flow unaona tu patches za damu americans wana bleed hapo mbaya sana hii vita by the time eh, black hawk eh, wale soldiers walikuwa na land na kamba ilikuwa saa tisa jioni saa hii mazee wamepigana ni karibu saa tatu usiku wako huko wanapigana tu yani wameenda wamechoka wameingia kwa hiyo ni niwa wanajificha so ni giza Haya ikakuwa sasa mazee hapa bana inakuwa tricky jo lazima tutafute design tutajiokoa sababu tukianza kungoja hawa se itakuwa tricky lakini wakipiga mazee peeping peeping pale nje wanaona vile mazee it is swarming with somalis 
wana wana uongo mbaya hakuna vile tunaweza toka hapa wanapiga radio tena pale wale wasio wa UN ni aje wa... so ya wasesi ya niko sure washachoka jo si mnaweza anza kujaribu kukam muone kama mnaweza tufikia tu angalau tuko na wasio wameumia hapa wanahitaji medical help ni nini nini please kamini so hiyo mtaa wamejificha wako kama mtu nane, tisa, kumi hapo but mazee around tuko hiyo kijiji soldiers ni wengi hivi pia hao wamechukua refuge places tofauti tofauti hata hao wanangojea bana hiyo tanki ya wasio wa UN come wa take cover nayo wa wachangamke mazee so kuna umati ya karibu mtu 30 wako tu hapa wanangojea mazee yani hey, aso asijue tuko hapa ndani watatumaliza so kidogo kidogo mazee wale majamaa wakamwa wacha tujaribu tena wasio wa UN waka wakisha tank zao mazee wakaanza kukam ni matank na hizi mahamvi hizi ma, ma trucks masoja wanatumiaga nini nini so wameanza kukam towards mali wale wase wamejificha nini nini wanapigwa tu marisasi unasikia tanki na gongo tu na marithi inakanikani wase wanarusha ndengu <laughs> kwa truck mazee ni ngori bata aso akasema ni noma tukishinda tukirudi rudi itakuwa tricky so wacha tupambane twende tufikia wase twende tuwatoe hapo in fact ni wase wengi tutakuwa na kikosi enough ya kurudisha fire pa mpaka mpaka iweze so hawa jamaa wakafinya 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 mpaka wakafika kwa ako ka village mali yao masoja wame wamejificha haya kumbukeni hapa watu wanauguza majeraha maze so ni noma hao ndio first priority hizi matank ndani the most inaweza toshea ni mtu nane peke yake hizo mahamvi ndani the most inaweza toshea ni kama watu watano sita mkifinyana so mazee azitoshei hizi gari azitoshei watu gari zimekuja ni kidogo kuliko idadi ya soldiers pale so ikakuwa first priority ni kina nani the wounded waka ndani waka wake kwa hizo matanko kae kwa hizo mahamvi nini wakashona the rest of the troops wakaambiwa magadhe izeni itabidi sisi tu drive nyinyi mtufuate mguu nyuma twende tu tumbaka tutokee place safe tunafaa twende kwa stadium Mogadishu huko mazee mambo iko sawa e, tukiingia tuko study ni hivyo so nyinyi tafuteni tu vile mtatufuata mguu mpaka twende tuingie Mogadishu stadium twende kazi so majamaa wa shallod wale wagonjwa wale wamepigwa pigwa wako ndani so wakaanza kutembea mguu maze ni kurudisha tu fire power ni kurudisha tu fire power maze ni noma wa somali wamekuja bana wanataka kuchafua kuchafua kwa hao wase wenye wanatembea wengine wanakula risasi inabidi jo mna wabeba mna waenga wengine kwa hizo mahamvi safari inaendelea ikafika point ikasemekana jo atuwezi kwa tunaendesha na ile pesa nyingi natembea sababu sasa tunakuwa targets sisi ni wakubwa sisi ni matanks na magari za tunaonekana kutoka mbali tunaweza pigwa ta RPG so mzee itabidi jo mjikaze lakini mjaribu sana msikule risasi sababu sasa sisi tunatoka nyinyi tafuteni vile mtafika wapi kwa stadium tank humvees zikaelekea sasa ni masoja mzee kutembea mguu wanaenda tu ki deal tu na situations tu deal na situations pale mpaka waende wafike mapi kwa stadium at some point jo walikuwa wanatembea wakakutana na mzee fulani amebeba mtoi kwa mgongo jo clearly huo mtoi amekula risasi ya mededi huo mzee ajali anatembea tu akiruka bodies za somalis nini akitembea akienda mtaa unaweza tell anasikia tu uchungu fulani yani fact one of the soldiers alikuwa anasema for a moment aliangalia huo mzee akajiambia wa Unajamini kwa hapa mazena huo riju ya ama brother wangu wenye wanakula risasi ni nini nini lakini huo mzee wamepoteza mtoi wake sisi ni ni damage gani tume inflict kwa wase wa Somalia juu kama sisi tushatandikiwa karibu mtu 18 na that now au niko sure tumekula watu wao karibu so tatu so nne but hiyo ni wo mazee wo inakoga hivyo so ni tujif, tujikaze tuende sana tuende sana watu walikuwa wanatoka nje mpaka na watoto like unaona huni mtu na mtoi wake na mtoi wake ameshika machine gun yeye yako na RPG anataka kumaliza jo inabidi wale masoja bana wanasukuma hapo ma 50 caliber 50 caliber ni gani nyingine inatupa risasi inatosha na hivi hiyo kitu hata i need kukushoot na need tu kupita karibu na wewe inamalizana na wewe on the spot like walikuwa wanapiga baba na mtoto 50 cals juu mzee imekuwa ni noma pale ukipatia mtu hata dakika mbili ya kupumua ah wewe unaingia kwa fridge kesho quick so kuku ana take chances maze aso alingangana wakangangana paka wakaenda wakafika kwa ile stadium maze wakaingia kwa stadium milango zikafungwa finally maze walikuwa play safe my friends hapo ndio americans walijiita mkutano 
wakajiambia nama 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 tujikute tumeingia vita ingine tena tujikute tukipitia ngori kama hizi tena sababu ya watu never again aso alichukuliwa kutoka kwa nini wakapelekwa mpaka e, kwa airport wakapanda ndege zao wakarudi states na ndio juu aso alikuwa amefika mwisho barely one year later hapa tunaongea ilikuwa ni uh, 3rd of october 1993 april of 1994 the same same thing happened in rwanda Manze wa swali kwa nakatakatana huko bana by the, within the first 10 days over 100,000 people walikuwa washa dead. The world was looking at the United States maze kuingia huko jo kuokoa. UN walikuwa huko wanalemewa deadly sababu UN hata mabunduki washanyang'anywa huko maze hakuna kukuwa armed ni kuongelesha gaidi we gave usifanye hivyo Mungu apendi hiyo. Wachana nayo please. Huko unaongelesha mtu wako juu ya ombidho aski kitu ni noma so wal, kila mtu alikuwa anaangalia states maze Josie utume hata mbogi ende huko ijaribu kuokoa sai Rwanda eh kila mtu anaangalia huko wanakumbuka ile ngori walipitia Somalia maze between au kuland pale kuokota wale ma soldiers mission ambayo ilikuwa inafai chukue 19 minutes only wali end up kukuwa pinned down under heavy fire for 17 hours mission ya 19 minutes walika 17 na si 17 hours ya kukaa tu tukichana veve hapo tukipiga stories za jaba a a ni 17 hours za hiki tu kama si risasi ni magrenade kama si grenades ni kutandikwa proper so mazee wakasema enough is enough ma soldiers wakaku extracted wakarudi states na hiyo story kaishia hapo the saddest bit ni ati mazee drought ilitandika ma jamaa deadly eventually of course mvua ilikami kanyesha but the civil war imekuwa tu ikiendelea ever since ever since kulikam kuka kwa na attempt ya ku you know build a government for somalia but maze kuna vitu tu azi hawakusikizana eh ngoria ziko sagi eh, sahi at least kuna a sitting president i hope vitu zime cool down kidogo jo hata squeezing ngori za somalia na kenya sizisiki sana so i hope vitu zimeanza ku look up but i think that very easily inaweza kuwa one of the longest civil wars zishai kuwa Africa maze and the saddest bit ni ati Somalia is such a beautiful country man I, i don't know if there's any other country in Africa with beaches as clean as Somalia beaches za Somalia maze white sands yani the proper white sands naona watu wangu wa kru anacheka sana naongea sababu ya beach ya pale kwa bahari nikiongea juu ya clean beaches no no come back come back <laughs> yeah turudini <laughs> eh hey, yani ufuo wa bahari hivyo ndo namaanisha yeah maze ni country supu ni country by the way watu wakakatu chini wa mwetu tuachane na hii mambo mob tufanye tu kazi inaweza kuwafaa sana the same applies to congo watu wa congo pia mnafahamu kae chini mujiite meeting mujiulize mtaishi hivyo mpaka lini why Munakubali kubebo ufala na watu wa nje kwa nini the richest country on earth yet it's the poorest makosa men wa afrika tubadilisheni let's let's change how we think tatusaidia sana huko mbele and let's unite how is it easier for a person to go to europe than it is for me to go to lesotho au muone hapo kuna shida and mimi kutoka hapa niende south africa mnataka muni screen karibu muniitishe mpaka picha za x-ray lakini nikitaka kwenda France na ingia tu vile nataka. Muni hapo kuna problem. Let's unite man. Get someone to translate this for you. <laughs> Bas, na hiyo ndio story bana Operation Gothic Serpent. Mm, ilikuwa operation deadly sana ya kujaribu ku restore peace pale Somalia. Mohamed Farah did akushikwa hiyo siku, aliponea lakini wale malitenant wake wali, waliwekwa ndani na wale masojas waliokotwa pale eventually alikama kapiga bragging pale akasema maze in fact nilikuwa nimeipanga hivyo eh, kila kitu ili happen nilikuwa nimeipanga eh hey, nilikuwa hatari wa jamaa yeah but i think eventually aliwaiwa by the way what happened to mohammed farah niambieni hapo kwa comments i'd like to know wasi <laughs> alipiga hiki tu madi nimeona umefanya hivyo umesema ate kuna mafara 
Mofara. Mofara ule wa hii kitu. So wako pamoja huko. Madi you are hungry. Uko ubao? Haya, nakafungia hapo wadau kama imekubamba kuja na mbogi, ikikubamba zaidi you know what to do. Cheza kama wewe maze, imekuwa true sana. Watu wangu wa Somalia kama kuna vitu nimesahau, wekeni hapa kwa comments. Tukutane hapo kwa comments tu chambue story zaidi kabisa man. Hey, mulifanya Americans mbaya. Nyinyi ni hatari? Eh, nyinyi nimewaogopa. Yeah, but imekuwa true sana. God our bless. Adios muchachos. Peace.